Merry Meet Magical Souls and welcome back to another magical video. We're going to be doing a little walkthrough with the Alana Fairchild White Oracle deck. It's Enter the Luminous Heart of the Sacred. I got this awesome deck guys from the Witch's Moon so go ahead and check them out down below in the comment section and description box to get your magical witchy boxes with fun tarot cards and oracle decks and all your spiritual tools. So let's go ahead and open this baby up. Just look at the artwork guys, it's so beautiful, so Greek, so divine and modern. Just gotta love it. It comes with the little guidebook as soon as you open it up. So this is what the little guidebook looks like. Little guidebook guys, and there's just all the pages with like the card, the affirmations, the prayers you can read. So it's a cute little guidebook. And this is the back of the guidebook. And here's some text on the back. Let's pull these tarot cards out guys, or the oracle cards and see what they look like. So the front of the cards are these awesome wolf art guys. The wolves just look so divine, like an awesome animal totem spirit guide. They just look so magical and divine. With the blue eyes, the wolf just looks so cool guys. And we're just going to flip them over and start going through all the different cards. So this is the Dava Parta card number 38. Super beautiful. Next up is the Oracle of Chaldea. Can't even pronounce that. These are some like ancient beings, guys. Very beautiful card. Ishtar's Lion Gate with triple eights. There we go. Now it's focus again. So we got Ishtar's Lion Gate with triple eights, guys. Awesome tiger, divine energy. The artwork on this deck is just so beautiful. I just love her stuff, guys. I have her Guan Yin deck too. So oh, awesome. Okay, so we got Darnky of Infinite Light. We got Bath Coal. We got Karma of Kuthala. And some of these beings are super ancient, guys. It's super neat to read the guidebook and go ahead and learn about them and work with these awesome Ascended Masters. This is Garda Suprana, awesome white eagle. We got Albator Tablet of Lila. This is giving me Egyptian meets like Roman Greek vibes, guys, with the tablet energy and the goddess. And we got this one, Seraph of 963 Hertz. Very spiritual. Spirit of Owl, 852 Hertz. We got Sob of Flutuli, 741 Hertz. Awesome card. Now we got Tantra of 639 Hertz, the twin flame card they use all over social media. Very beautiful artwork, guys. So this is the awesome card, guys. The artwork's just so beautiful. We got Alpha of a Clone. So this is that card, guys. Very beautiful with the swirl detailing, with the hair. And we got Beta of Spirit Wolf. So awesome divine animal totem spirit guide right here. Just gotta love that artwork on him. So that's this one. Now we got Aya Sofa Aurora, number 22. Third eye is just beaming that divine light, guys. It's almost like kind of falling from gray, slash relaxing, slash meditating. It's just super neat. I just love this artwork. And we got Beltude of Sacred Rapture number 29. Elpsa Modulation number 28. Very sacred looking, reminding me of like Terra Buddha. Very beautiful artwork. We got Aurora of Gamma. got a deer of delta guys so this is just a cool little deer with this little baby just chilling and i just love the details it's like kind of druid vibes on that one we got 528 hertz mandela of the heart this is 52 hertz mandela of the heart guys this card is very beautiful too it's got that like ivory detailing with the lines very sacred now we got the sun of 417 hertz very beautiful as well. So we got the bear of 693 hertz, guys. It's number 15. Got the cute gemstone and like where its third eye is. Just super sacred animal totem. We got Yangi of 285 hertz. Just look at the artwork, guys. It's so beautiful. Now we got the queen of nangas. Very sacred artwork. Very divine, reminding me of the Thai temple. The Queen of Nangas card is just very beautiful. Now we got very beautiful. This one is Anna Phoresis. Hands on the cheek like your spirit guides just cocooning you. Very pretty. And this is Obador number three. 
Definitely got that loving energy and heart shape in here, like some self-love vibes with this card, guys. This is definitely a deck you guys want to add to your collection if you love your spirituality and just classic sacred artwork. It's very beautiful. Cupel Dissolvi, number two. We got seven blessings of Eve. Definitely calling on the Adam and Eve vibe with the snake going to enlightenment with the egg. We got Tetha of Venus, guys. Looks just like a little sacred soul just chilling all peacefully. We got perfume of Sophia. So this is the perfume of Sophia card. We got sacred scar. Definitely a beautiful deck guys but there is definitely some nudity in it so they aren't too shy about that. We got some Archon below. I believe she's covering her boobs in that one. It's like, this is cool, guys, but when you are posting for the spiritual stuff, like, we do have some, or at least I do, I have some, like, monks and some people that aren't supposed to really see nudity, so that's when it's kind of like, eh, it's beautiful, it's sacred, like, the artwork's awesome, but the nudity's kind of like, eh, don't want to really be promoting that, you know? So we got Telepathy of Terra Matter for this card. Definitely a fun deck to work with, guys, and some pictures would do totally be fun to post. We got 31st Sacrament of Extreme Yunction. And there we go. Now that card's focused and you guys can see the awesome detail on that one. We got Lysa of Parvati for this card, guys. There's some beautiful swirl detailing on her face. We got Evolva of Cider. This one's kind of like that other card, super similar. And we got the Yishi Tulsa 333 Ascended Master Number with the awesome white tiger. Just gotta love this tiger. Super awesome. We got this one with the seahorse. It's super beautiful, guys. If only the camera's gonna focus for us. So there's the seahorse one. We got Sovereign Queen Moth, number 40. Giving me that like Ice Queen vibe, kinda. Super pretty artwork. Ivory Wish Fulfilling Crow. Magnetism of Eros, guys. This one's giving me the tower card vibes. Very beautiful artwork as well. And the last card we got is Shania, number six. Beautiful Divine Mother right here. And that is all the tarot cards for this White Oracle deck, guys. Or the Oracle cards, I'm sorry. Super beautiful deck with the wolf on this side and the artwork on this side. You guys should definitely go ahead and visit the Witch's Moon to get this awesome deck by Alana Fairchild. Totally approve of this deck, guys. You should definitely go ahead and get it. Be sure to give the video a thumbs up, subscribe so you'll be notified for all my future videos. And like always, by earth, by air, by fire, by water, by spirit, in the name of Goddess Nyx, may you all be blessed and rejuvenated in her divine embrace. Blessed be. Merry meet, merry part, and merry meet again, magical souls. Blessed be. Woo! <laughs>